years old. <laughs> and then it calls me the goofiest woman in country music, a title I wear proudly. Yeah, so. <laughs> Try to live up to that every chance I get. There's no business like no business like no business I know. I am the mom, I don't act it. Well, I know the judge used to say the five scariest words in the English language were live TV with my mom. Well, I'm getting ready to do something with Dolly Parton, so I thought I'd air him out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine when me and Dolly get together? Oh, boy. Talk about a couple of boobs. <laughs> <laughs> a little prissy butt here. Remember what you used to say every night? Sign a prenuptial agreement? Oh. I'm the mom. I'm sweet and polite and genteel. I wouldn't say stuff like that. <laughs> get her done! Okay, a teaspoon of this, a pinch of that. Mm-hmm. I've never known what a pinch, how much a pinch is. Let me tell you what a pinch is, right? <laughs> I could just pinch Ashley Judd right now because she called, we live on adjoining farms way outside in the country of Nashville. She called me at midnight last night in a thunderstorm and said, Mommy, my dog's missing. So here I was, I'm just laughing at the word regal. Here I right. was in my big butt jammies barefoot driving around the back roads last night looking for a dog in the rain. <laughs> For sometimes I call her the Countess of Hip. Sometimes I call her uh, the Princess of Quite a Lot. Because I'm the reigning queen of everything. And, uh, you should see my sister and my tiara. Naomi, what? Do you like being a grandma? I love being a grandma because what I do is I put on my rhinestone tiara. And my scepter, oh, they call me Mamma, and I say things like, you know, anything they wish for, I do. Make a like a high, you do it, you do it. Make a like a high, make a like a high, make a like a hiney ho. Make a like a hiney ho. <laughs> Mama. S Sister Rosita. Sister Rosita. Anything you know. Anything you know. Is yours. Is yours. Ding. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, a lot of people out there. Working on a song right now called the Mayonnaise Song. I have to have a, I have to have a tune, guys, to do the big butt dance with. So it's something like, when I come home at the end of my busy days, I like to sit down with a spoon and a jar of mayonnaise. Remember what you did? You and John said, "Hold the mayonnaise," and I said, "Give it to me." <laughs> and I had it for dessert. <laughs> you had mayonnaise for dessert. Yes. And you go ahead and coat all that. All right. That's not very much. Well, yeah, we do need a little bit more. Okay. Because I love oil, have... I could just rub it all over my body. Well, this is, this is all, but that's for the dressing. Oh, my God. We're going to... She's sweating. She's sweating. I used to think that mayonnaise was a food group until... until like, <laughs> mayonnaise, that's for each other. Favorite thing to cook? Mmm. What one and Ashley like, they call butt extender food. <laughs> that's with sour cream and butter, you know? One night we're in mayonnaise. Ooh, I love mayonnaise. You just rub it through right there and all over my body. Mm -hmm. So I got a couple of pillows and put in my stretch pants. Yeah. And got up on the picnic table and did what, what I lovingly refer to as the big butt dance. <laughs> saying earlier, classy, uh, charming, glamour. Yeah, all, all of the above. Now you think. You put, a, put your drink on. Yeah, here, yeah you, you probably could. No! Go ahead. Goofy. I saw the picture from your shower. Goofy. <laughs> I came out with one of the Stratocaster and I wore flats uh -huh. so that I could really do it right. Uh -oh. Just what did you do? I mean, just Are that. you doing the Chuck Berry thing? <laughs> like that. You know, I just did the head banging thing. This, this time she's packing Pampers and I'm packing my estrogen. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Do you know what estrogen, estrogen is, sir? Do you have any idea what estrogen is? I love you. Gosh, you guys look just like you do when I'm on TV. I said, and I have to warn you guys, I'm very irreverent. 
I said, if you're looking for Barbara Walters, <laughs> I'm kind of a, a whacked Barbara Walters. <laughs> Ooh. Wait a minute. Can I just, uh, can you hold that for me? I'm going to say that. Mm. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I didn't want you girls to feel like you're in time out back here. Boy, this is a clean plate society back here. You ate all your desserts. <laughs> There's a little man down there. How are you doing down there? Don't look up my dress. Been rhinestone free for a long time now, so I've totally fallen off the wagon tonight. I got this in the sparkle department at Big Kmart. I think I'd had a margarita when I designed that one. Got a couple of girls down here that are looking at me like, what are you wearing? This is my party dress. I can see you talking about me. People over here just ask, do you reckon she's had a facelift? Of course I have. Of course I have. I can hear everything you say. I really do mean. I really do mean. Hey, Mama, good Lord. You look fantastic. I'm baby boomer. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> Not my Naomi Joe. <laughs> no way. Not that sweet little Christian mom. <laughs> Paca. Take the wiggly. There you go. It's not even a word. It's not even a word. It's not even a word. I'll leave you with this thought that Elizabeth Taylor said to her seven husbands. I won't be keeping you any longer.